What is going on fellas and welcome back to the Madden 20 Dreadnoughts Relocation Franchise. Thank you Iverson. You've done a great job so far. So as you can see there's like a million things to go through this week. First of all, view weekly players. We have Mario and Keon Weathers as the AFC Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week. Keon of course had the two picks, a forced fumble and a touchdown, his first pick six. Mario on the other hand ran for 237 yards. He did quarterback things as well. He passed it a couple times. Now we have a big Big injury decision. I don't know if I want to bring back Joe Mixon immediately. His injury rating drops down to 80. Stamina goes down to 79. I'm going to be starting LaMarcus Dupree, man. Now, you guys were telling me in terms of Mario, we should work on field general. Obviously, accuracy has been a big problem. Oh, there we go. Throw accuracy mid. Obviously, we don't need a quarterback. I've got faith in Mario. But just for the sake of storylines, let's go check some of these guys out. John Glenn, A+. Plus? My guy, look at these quarterbacks. This guy's a second rounder with two A's and a B+. Plus. It says that he's going to go in the fourth. In a conference like the Big 12, you need to have a quarterback and he needs to have a big arm. People have said they've seen John Glenn bomb the ball 60 yards downfield. There is no proof of this on videotape. But this isn't the only thing this guy can do. Subpar accuracy, but he can definitely get out the pocket when he needs to. He's not blazing fast like Michael Vick or anything like that. But if it's a third and short and nobody's open, he's willing to rush for the first down. And on top of that, he could even truck somebody on the way. I just can't believe this Jake Sullivan guy is apparently so bad. I guess we'll have to check out the combine report. Not that it really says a lot about quarterbacks. There are a lot of skeptics when it comes to Jake Sullivan. When scouts have said they see him going in the second round, others have turned around and said, Said, this is Daniel Jones waiting to happen all over again. As of right now, most pro scouts see Jake Sullivan going in around the fourth or fifth round, but you never know, a team that is desperate might just reach. Will this move turn out? Nobody knows. Very, very interesting look at the quarterbacks in the upcoming class. We need to shake up this team just a little bit, and I think I know exactly how to do that. In practice this week, Tyler Boyd was not happy. Earlier in the season, he was already complaining about not getting enough touches. And even though the coordinator did agree to get him more involved, in a game that saw him have one rushing touchdown and one receiving touchdown, and pretty decent stats to go alongside it, Tyler Boyd felt that he was open a lot of the time, but Mario just was not able to hit him. So many overthrows, time and time again. So Coach Benson decided to switch up the offense completely. They had a trial and they got a huge dub against the Jaguars running majority read option with throws on blitzes. This is what really sent Tyler over the edge. Reports are starting to surface that he has demanded a trade. And it's not a situation where we can put him on the trade block and get rid of him over time. He wants to be traded this week. So this was unexpected. Tyler Boyd not happy with the direction of the Dreadnoughts team. He's actually a fantastic player. I loved having him. 95 catching, 87 catching traffic. He's fast as well. Question is, who do we want to get? I do like that strong safety, the one with the good hit power, who's apparently Jackie Chan. So I figured we'd go out and find ourselves a linebacker backer that we can send on blitzes. We have Montez Sweat out of Mississippi State. Really, really fast. Great hit power. Decent block shedding. I don't actually think we're going to be able to make this trade work at all. I mean, you'll see that the Redskins desperately need a left guard. I'm offering Tyler Boyd and a left guard, and that barely gets us halfway. I swear they must have nerfed trading. Another example, Boyd and Glenn to the Texans for Clowney. Same again, halfway. Okay, I've had enough, man. The trade is accepted. Tyler Boyd, a next year second and fifth for the Buffalo Bills first round pick. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit upset that I couldn't get a player in return. That's what I was kind of banking on for this episode. We do get a first round pick, which is still all well and good. That means all of the players that we've written backstories on, we have a chance to pick one of them up. So if you want to, let me know down in the comment section who you think we should target with a top 10 pick in this year's draft. With that being said, we're taking a read option heavy offense minus Tyler Boyd against a team that messed us up on the run last time. If you're new around here and you enjoy Madden 20 and NCAA 14 content, then this is the place for you. Do not forget to subscribe. That being said, fellas, let's jump into it. <laughs> Stop showing the glitch. It triggers my OCD so much. Would have been nice to run this play with a uh, blitzing linebacker. Fortunately, that's not the case, mate. I'm not complaining though. Taking the flat, Bates on the wrap up, send the blitz. Play action. Oh, he's gonna get sacked by Preston Brown. You love to see it. They took Keon Weathers off. He was about to get a pick on this play. Oh, never mind. Oh, big hit. 
So hopefully this doesn't end in a million fumbles and an injured quarterback. We'll see how it goes. Oh, they fall for it. Mario with the easy first. There is no way I'm running my quarterback into that. Come on, fit that in there. Unlucky. There we go, nice spin move. And he nearly gets the first. I wonder how this offense will work with Joe Mixon back. Oh, Mario! Got Johnny Ross short just in case. He's open, beautiful play. Another easy first. Simple read option, we get this, we're in. There we go, Dupree, in the end zone, my guy. Enjoy it now, because next week, Mixon's back. Come on, let's get it. That's a dot. Oh, wow. Really? Third and two, got a mean blitz incoming. Get the stop. Oh, we got it. Let's go, defense. Well, on the plus side, he's not injured. And that's a shocker of a pass. Well, I'll take that. I should have taken AJ. Why did I not take AJ? What is this guy doing? There's no two ways about it. We are definitely feeling the pressure of missing Tyler Boyd. We need him on the team. We need another receiver. Taking the flat. Oh, come on. So close. Oh my! The sack is gonna get there! Preston Brown again! Nowhere to go! Keon Weathers is tired. They go five wide as well. Got that? God, oh, make a play, Keon! I'm gonna use it in the safety then. If Keon needs a break, then. Oh, nearly picked it. Third and 13. Can we finally get the stop? Going short. Lay his ass out. Let's go, Keon. Not going to lie. If we take another shot like we did last time, uh, we might have to change up the offense. There we go. Look at this. Mario out speed. Off the sideline. Slide, my guy. And if we start running to the left and avoiding TJ Watt, we might just find ourselves with a little bit of success. Slide again. Oh, really? That wasn't meant to be anything more than a simple first down, and we end up losing the ball. Where's our fumble, man? Third and 29 after back-to-back -back sacks. We might as well try and get a play out of this, right? I wonder if we can go AJ 101. Ah, looked like AJ was playing corner back then. Let's see if we can get any success. Oh! EA Sports, we're still in the game. Minute and a half left, though. If we want to make a play before the second half, we've got to do it right now. As John Ross gets in open space. Please, my guy, 98 speed. He's going to take it back. Thank goodness, man. We needed that so badly. I'm liking this man coverage, but it's doing a good job of locking him down. Oh, right as I say that. Man, Big Ben is absolutely tearing up our defense right now. We need that secondary help so bad. He one hand caught that? He just straight up just one hand over the top. All right, no worries. That's what I'm waiting for. Let's go, Johnny Ross. Nobody's going to be able to catch him. On second thought. Go Dupree, upfield, that's a first down. Let's go AJ, great catch my guy. I have to switch it up, Dupree is tired. With the way fumbles are, there's no way I'm gonna risk it. It's a nice possession catch. Just imagine if Quentin Nelson picked that up and scored. Not exactly what we wanted, but uh, this definitely puts us 
three points behind. Third and three, we're gonna send the crossfire. Fingers crossed that it gets there. It needs to get there in time. And it's not going to. Ah. No way. What a shocker of a pass. That's a Mario pass right there. <laughs> the important thing is I tried, right? Still a little bit iffy on the screenplays. Let's see if it's gonna work. Oh, it did work. We get the blocks. You've gotta be kidding me. What is Dupree doing? You shouldn't hate on Madden for all these fumbles. I did say that I was going to change him and I keep forgetting. So really, it's my fault. Good play. Oh, where is our fumble, man? I'm just going to run it. So we give him another field goal. They're now up by two possessions with seven minutes left. What a catch! Drew Sample! Let's actually hurry this up right here, keep the momentum going. Gotta make sure I keep the short routes in case they do want to blitz. Let's take that. Easy work. Nice and short. This should be a touchdown. Right over the top! Anderson in the end zone! Dupree checks out and Anderson makes the play! This is all well and good. We can give up a field goal here. No touchdowns though. No touchdowns allowed. What is this? Please make a play. Didn't know AB still played for the Steelers. Oh, there goes the sack. Preston Brown, MVP of the game for sure. Can we get a pick though? Come on, Keon, step up. That's got to be a pick! That's double coverage! That's a bad pass! Biggest play of the game, third and goal on the 10. They're going to run it! We get the stop, let's go! We have just over two minutes. Game winning drive, we can do it. Please no fumbles. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, Madden. Got that off in the nick of time, AJ Green with the first. There we go, executed to perfection. Dupree! Oh my goodness, this is working too well. Let's go ahead and flip it, try one on the other side. Screenplays are kind of fun. There we go, Dupree again! Ooh, okay. Third and 10, we need a big play. Do you reckon we could send AJ deep? If AJ pulls his down, then I don't know what to think. Come on, one on one. Coach said, all we can do is throw verticals, forehead. He's open! Back of the end zone! Oh no! No, I let it go a millisecond too late. The irony in this play right here. If Tyler Boyd was still here, this would be his catch. Gets one foot down, the right foot. Oh, that burns me so much. Juju just completely destroyed our dreams. I mean, you gotta give it to Pittsburgh. That was the smartest play ever. Throw that little cheeky slant. Oh my goodness. The question does remain. If that were Tyler Boyd instead of Erickson, Tyler Boyd having more speed, better catch in traffic, better catching in general, would he have been able to make that play? Unfortunately for us, the lack of having said talent now has us at Five and three, mate. Checking out the stats on the day. Mario had a better passer rating than Big Ben. Ben put up 354, 73% uh, completion rate, one touchdown, zero picks. On the other hand, we put up 231, 65% completion rate, touchdown and no picks. On the Russian end, LaMarcus put up 45 and a touchdown. Mario with 39. I'm hoping with Joe Mixon returning next week, the read option might be a little bit better. On the receiving end, Dupree with 45, John Ross with 73, AJ Green with 32, even Drew Sample had a massive catch in that game. And on the defensive end, Preston Brown, what a game he had, playing outside linebacker and sacking the quarterback three times. Unfortunately for us, we did not get an interception with Keon, he had two last week, a pick six, this week, 
did not even show his face on the field. As for everybody else, nothing really impressive there. We now officially enter the second half of our season. Are we still playoff bound? I don't know. All I know is we do have another first round pick at our disposal though. With that being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Dreadnoughts Relocation Franchise. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.